So I've noticed recently that a lot of runners mash text in a way that I feel is a little bit incorrect. Uh, so I wanted to make a video that provides a little bit of information on text boxes and text mashing in order to help hopefully save you guys some time over the course of your runs. So this video is going to be focused on quick text boxes. If you don't know what that means, there are basically two types of text boxes in this game. Uh, slow text boxes and quick text boxes. The slow text boxes are the ones that are seen during like major cutscenes of the game. For example, the intro cutscene or the giant's cutscene. Uh, these text boxes, the text scrolls at a fixed speed. So there's nothing you can do to make the text box speed up at all. It just goes as fast as it goes and the only way, the only thing you can do is just try to close out of the text box as fast as possible. Quick text boxes, however, are basically all of the other text boxes in the game that you interact with, uh, like signs, or talking to the bomber kids, or talking to the banker, the owl, all of that is all quick text boxes. And these ones are special because when you pull up the text, it will either appear instantly or you can interact with it in order to make the text appear instantly. So like with this sign here, the text just instantly comes up and I can just close it as soon as possible. I don't have to wait for the text to scroll or anything. And the reason why these text boxes are a little bit special is because there's actually a glitch that you can do with them. So I have uh, an emulator pulled up here in order to demonstrate it. So here I'm in front of this sign in Mountain Village. Uh, it is a quick text box because as you can see the text instantly appears when I open it. There's no scrolling or anything, it's just right here and I can close out of it right away. But with quick text boxes, if you uh, mash the B button frame perfectly, what actually ends up happening is uh, the blue box that usually appears right here that normally like indicates that you can clear the text box never actually comes up. And even if I mash the A button or if I uh, mash the C up button, there's nothing I can do to make this text box close unless I stop mashing the B button. And then as you can see the blue box uh, comes up and I can close the text box. And the reason why this is important is because let's say you're just you know casually mashing through text and you press the B button on this frame here through the text box, now you actually have caused this glitch to happen for one frame. And this means that you now have to wait one extra frame before you're able to close this text box with any button. Uh, and if I press B again on the very next frame, now it is another frame that you have to wait uh, before you're able to close the text box and so on and so forth. And it's kind of unreasonable to expect somebody to mash at this speed all the time because it's it's pretty fast. Like it's you'd, you'd have to mash it basically 20 frames per second at least in order to make this happen. Um, but if you're mashing through like a ton of quick text, like or a string of quick text, it's pretty reasonable to expect you to hit this like a couple of times per text box. And every time you hit that, that's a, a frame that you're losing basically. So it adds up really, really fast. So uh, the solution to this is if you have a text box that is a single text box where as soon as you read this text box it closes and the text is done or it brings up some other kind of text box, then you only need to mash the A and the C up button or just the A button or just the C up button, whatever you're comfortable mashing. But you don't want to enter. You don't want to press the B button at all because you risk this uh, glitch happening. And if you have a text like the bomber kit here, where when you pull it up, uh, it will actually advance like a bunch of text boxes at once, then you just press B one time in order to get all of the text to pass by. And then uh, after that, you switch to mashing A and C up, like that. Uh, so yeah, basically you'll want to go through the text in the run and find out where this is applicable to you and find ways around uh, getting this glitch to happen and it will actually end up saving you quite noticeable amounts of time throughout your run. So hopefully this helps.